Hello friends, uh, today is a great day for us. We are uh, very pleased to have our topper, Ms. Uh, Dharmasri IAS here. Uh, she has just come for two days in the midst of our uh, foundation course. So we would like to have an interaction with her. Uh, let us know what is uh, the schedule, what is happening in the foundation course, etc. So we are very happy to receive her. Uh, welcome Ms. Uh, Dharmasri. Uh, uh, tell us uh, about yourself and your journey from the time you have seen your name in the merit list until the time you reached the Lal Bhagdur Shastri Institute of IAS Academy. Sure, sir. Uh, it was April 5 I got the list out. So I was very happy because it's my fifth attempt and I got my name in the list and uh, I'm sure that I'll get either IAS or IFS. This was my condition that day. And uh, it was like a movie. You can see uh, how, uh, how your life uh, completely uh, changed in you know a single day, so it was it was happened uh, in my life as well. So everything hap everything it was changed completely. So from the time I started focusing on how to improve myself from that day, so it was full of uh, uh, functions and uh, awards. It was almost till June, and uh, after June I started focusing on the schools. So especially government schools in uh, in, in Tamil Nadu. So I. I went to the government schools and I gave some motivational talks, especially I was concerned with the girls. So then, uh, some somewhere in the August 9 or 10, I got my appointment order uh, that I, did, I am allotted to IAS. And uh, 26th, I need to be present in uh, Lal Bhagatu Shastri National Academy. So it was a very great day. So from that time, I started preparing and it was with a little fear and it was an excitement till I was continued till the time. So. Uh, how did you feel? How did you go from here? How did you feel on the day one of your training? So you should have gone with your friends. Uh, how did you feel? Uh, as expected, we went with our known friends uh, from Chennai. So direct flight from Chennai to Dehradun. So we received and we got some new friends in the Dehradun airport. So we all went in a cab and uh, it was full of rain. So rain got started wishing us and uh, it was completely messed because we don't know anything in Masuri. So we directly went to academy and uh, we don't know uh, that how to enter into the academy also. So it was in the rain we got Xerox copies done and the photos done. So the first thing uh, they have done is issuing our ID card. So receiving the card and the name put in our ID card with the IAS as a mark, it was dream come true moment. And then uh, we had a procedural formalities to join in the academy. So it was done. But uh, we don't know anyone except uh, the friends we came here. So. We are familiarizing with the new faces and new friends, asking what's the service, where are they from, and then it was full of the backdrop of rain. So it was a very unique and uh, new experience altogether. So what is your uh, daily schedule like in the academy? What time you get up and uh, do you have classes? Uh, what time is your breakfast and lunch? And how is your daily schedule? Tell us something about that. Sure, sir. My daily schedule starts at, uh, at least by 5 a.m. because 5.50 we need to be in the ground, polo ground. So compulsory PTs, no exemptions. Uh, for a gentleman notice, it was three exemptions till the foundation course. Foundation courses, 100 day, no leave period. And uh, lady notice, it was five exemptions. And with the medical reasons, it is included and not included. It depends upon the medical condition. So we need to start by five. And uh, 5.50 to six, we need to reach the polo ground. And biometric attendances are compulsory. And uh, if not so, penal PTs are there. Then after uh, 7, 7.15, we'll be come back to our rooms. Uh, we can refresh or something. And then after a month or so, we can have choices, whether we can do yoga or uh, P we can continue PT, running, cycling, horse riding, etc. So it was a morning schedule. And after 7.15 to 9.15, we can have our breakfast, refreshing and other things. Then 9.15, uh, 9.20 is the class timing. We need to be uh, there by 9.15. And uh, 9.20 to 4, we'll have classes, compulsory classes. There's many subjects will be taken and uh, after 4.30 we'll have some extra uh, curriculum activities or uh, class counselor meetings so we'll be engaged till 6 p.m. and after 6 p.m. we'll be uh, free with the uh, assignments included. So it was uh, busy. What time you go to bed? What is, uh, do you have a particular time? Uh, light soft is there also or something? Uh, so, uh, in the hostels and other places uh, after 10.30 we should not uh, open I and mean, we should not do anything in the corridor to disturb in the name of disturbing others. So we, if you want to hear music or something, we can put our headphone and we can continue. And uh, if you want to have a good sleep, not to sleep in the class, we can at least we need to sleep by 10 p.m. 
so that uh, you will not sleep in the next day's class. So do you have access to internet and other things? You know? Yes, sir, it is there. Wi-Fi everywhere. It is there. Hostel for separate Wi-Fi for every block. I was staying in uh, Happy Valley complex. And there are Ganga complex, Narmata, Kaveri. There are so many complexes. Free Wi-Fi is there. And for some hostel, there is some coffee making machines also. Every hostel will have OT lounges. And uh, classes also will have uh, separate Wi-Fi. No uh, what are the subjects uh, they are teaching in the class? Uh, uh, do they conduct test? You do you have to have assign? Do you have to write assignments and other things? Yes, sir. Uh, classes like uh, history is there and um, law and uh, polity separate because civil rights we need to study and then economics and uh, disaster management, public administration we have the classes and uh, based on the faculties uh, we'll have and apart from that we'll have special lectures, modules on uh, uh, differently abled people, inclusiveness and uh, so many other things, guest lectures we have and uh, tests, yes we need to prepare for the test. There are two tests uh, in the foundation course, one is midterm. And uh, now another one is final exam. So midterm, it is a written exam in uh, LBS Academy. So we need to burn the midnight because it is uh, five exams in the in two days. So we need to be prepared ourselves. And final exam is uh, objective time. We need to study again. So tell us something about uh, extracurricular activities. What extra type of extracurricular activities you have? Uh, tell us something about that. Uh, yes, extracurriculum it will be like indoor and outdoor. So outdoor it will include sports, uh, again horse riding or uh, volleyball, tennis, badminton, gym. So many things are there. And uh, indoor uh, cooking, painting, and baking, uh, and even photography is there. So it depends upon our personal interest and uh, which area we want to focus. So I took painting. Many of my friends took photography. So it depends upon us. We can take it. Uh, in in a week we'll have two to three extracurriculum activities in the evening and uh, it depends upon our own interest we can progress many people took guitar and many people took music and song so it depends upon the individual which we want even we we don't know anything we can uh, learn there so it is compulsory and uh, we need to uh, again biometric is there attendance is mandatory but uh, it is a uh, quality of an officer because we need to develop a hobby so this is the time to develop our own hobby uh, tell us something about the uh, cultural activities you have, like this, uh, I was told that you have Tamil Nadu Day, etc. Yes, tell us something about that. Uh, cultural activities we have uh, formally now, uh, state days were, are happening from this year in the academy. Every Friday evening, uh, 7 o'clock, the state day will start and end, and end around some 9 p.m., including the dinner. So state-related uh, cultural programs like dance, music or any other thing, and even our OTs, if you want to perform also, we can perform there. And um, state specific dinner will be arranged along with the support of our uh, residential houses in Delhi. So for Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu house will come and uh, do the facilities and uh, for Kerala, Kerala state will come and do the facilities. And uh, apart from this, we'll have fine arts club. So fine arts club will conduct an activity, Nirtya Sandhya they have done. And sometimes uh, DJ nights will be there. So you can explore DJs on grass and uh, in the OT launches also. And apart from them, we'll have uh, November, this month we are going to have FET. And uh, after that, we'll have India Day. So cultural activities, it is it is on the process and it is continuing. Um, either you can do Western or Indian anything, sir. Uh, what about the uh, trekking activities and the physical activities, mountaineering? Uh, is it there or how it is being organized? Tell us something about that. Is there, uh, Saturdays are generally reserved for trekking. So day start by 6 a.m. We need to be ready with our trek suits and uh, shoes and uh, we'll have uh, on walking stick. So initially we need to uh, know the places of Masuri. So they'll start in a very gradual way. So first uh, thing we went to the Kempty Falls, it is nearby Academy, the 17 kilometers. So we started in a slow phase of walking. So it's the first one. Second one, it is a little tougher. Second one is um, um, Binong Hill. So it is a hill. So it's an ups and downs related hill. And third one, uh, third week, it is Lal Tiba. It is the highest point of Masuri. So it's like very gradual and uh, uh, specific conditioning of us for the Himalayan trek which is uh, uh, generally conducted in October, October first week or second week. So Himalayan trek is uh, almost uh, seven to nine days. These um, treks and all in academy it is for one day so we can start in the morning and we can even finish before the lunch sometimes or after the lunch sometimes. And uh, Himalayan trek is worth exploring. We cannot say that it is altogether good but we, we learn uh, so many experiences. We learn the hillside farmers and uh, 
we drink only the stream waters how the river entire ganga is for me we can explore all these things and we know how to live very simple in a way and uh, we can push our limits we can push our limits beyond what we know about ourselves so it was a uh, altogether a very unique and it's a team building exercise also so we'll have 23 members who knows best and who will walk slow down and how we are carrying each other so the bonding uh, started developing in trekking so it's it's a compulsory also again so we cannot skip this uh, trekking uh, unless and until our medical conditions prompt so so it was it was very good experience so being from tamil nadu uh, i think uh, you do not know hindi also how do you manage uh, uh, this the course when you are there uh, we can try to manage with english but uh, hindi I, i feel that we need to learn hindi because we cannot interact with our fellow otis and uh, sometimes guest lectures they are good in their own field but they cannot communicate in english uh, for example forest man of india he is um, he is an assamese and he tried to speak in hindi but we couldn't understand uh, just because we don't know hindi so i i guess at least uh, to an extent um, hindi speaking is essential to at least to serve it so tell us something about the village visits which you normally make do you is it a part of your curriculum or uh, village visits yes sir so yeah, after coming uh, back from trekking we'll have some two day session in masuri it is about uh, getting ready for a village visit again village visit is a uh, mandatory one it is our part of the curriculum so it, it's almost one week session so in that one week we'll explore uh, we'll have some participatory learning exercises also so in that how we need to walk around the villages and we need to observe what are the things lacking and not lacking and we'll have a day to spend with the middle schools and panchayat schools inside so i went to the village called khunda in that district of madhya pradesh and uh, we had a mid day meals with them and we need to do swachh bharat one day and we need to conduct gram sabha we need to do the exploration of records and other things so we can observe and we can uh, we need to report to our district collector and then we need to report to our uh, lbs academy so in that also evaluations will be done and uh, even we can uh, have our village making videos also so it will be reported to our uh, center for rural studies in uh, lbs academy so so in the academy if you are late Uh, to the class if you are slightly indisciplined uh, what are this uh, how do they correct you what are the mechanisms is available very simple sir is a penal pt <laughs> so penal pt means you will do additional yes sir. additional pt in sense we sometimes we need to do some push ups 20 to 30 push ups or uh, memos will be <laughs> memos will come by disciplinary in charge and uh, sometimes we need to run okay the sun forces there <laughs> okay sundays are free or sunday also uh, you have Sundays are generally free unless and until there is any um, unexpected dignitaries visit. Uh, sometimes it will happen. Maybe uh, our concerned minister or uh, concerned VIPs um, higher than the ministers. They, if they come, we need to attend. Or else we, we can participate in the social service activity. Social service club is there, so we can go with the cleaning of the Masuri area, or we can interact with the school students. Or we can explore in the Sundays actually generally, and we'll have our pending assignments we need to do. Uh, do you recently have the opportunity of meeting uh, uh, our honorable prime minister yes sir uh, tell us something about that uh, meeting and the visit uh, again after uh, completing our village visit we were uh, supposed to go to kevadia it is a place where um, statue of unity was built so in that it was a very first kind uh, honorable prime minister has come in person and the entire uh, dopt team is there and pmo officer have been shifted cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries were come and uh, we had an interaction not only with the prime minister also with the world bank president and uh, gbrd president it was very unique and uh, prime minister uh, he spent almost one day with the with the otis and he told what is what he is expecting for us from us and he even asked whether any changes to be included in the curriculum and how is the common foundation course what's his agenda in the common foundation course he explained and uh, Uh, he was very active and uh, very concerned about this common foundation course sir mm, how about the foreign visits do you have foreign visits as also a part of your curriculum sure sir it is there after uh, completing phase 2 i mean now it is a foundation course and after completing the foundation course there is a, a next phase is called phase 1 for administration service and after completing the phase 1 we'll have district training so after completing the district training um, in the month of april or may So we uh, we are sent to the fa- in phase two. We'll have two weeks of foreign training. Well, that is uh, your choice. It's a, part, it's a part of our curriculum. Uh, either we'll be go to European countries or to the Asian countries like Korea and other parts. What about the Bharat Darshan? Is it the part of phase one or something? Bharat Darshan. Is it the 
how village visits and trekking are high point of uh, foundation course bharat darshan is a high point of phase 1 it will start in the december mid of december and it will continue till uh, february one thing is we cannot uh, be in um, lbs academy because of winter another thing this is a chance to explore the entire india within two months at least 16 states will explore will be again uh, uh, part into different teams and our routes will be given and team leaders will be there and uh, assistant team leaders will be there so it's like an uh, darshan of entire or bar so has your cadre been allotted right now yes sir it is i'm happy to say that i was allotted to kerala cadre officially so it ha- it, it came in the when we were going to the village visit lbs academy is very good in doing this whenever we are going and coming we will have some shocks or will have some happiness so one thing is this i was been allotted to kerala cadre uh how efficient this is this uh, course is going to be in your uh, future career this foundation course yes, what are the things you will learn as an individual as a team uh as an individual first thing is punctuality 9 855 everything and the second thing we whether we are able to do all the multitasking in, uh, things yes it is able to do and apart from them uh, whether we are able to focus on our personal life yes yes we are trying to do so that is, this is an personal level and uh, foundation course is uh, all about team building so we need to know our batchmates across the services irs ips and other people so it's about developing uh, good bonds because in uh, india i was been told that informal uh, relations will solve the problems of uh, sometimes whenever we need some common solutions also so that's why informal relations are developing here so on the, it, it's the main aim of our foundation course itself so it will continue till our uh, batch completes so you have any Yeah, message to give to the future aspirants who are watching this video. You want to tell something to them? Um, be yourself. That's that's the only thing. Even before service or after service, be yourself, and uh, you will get what you deserve. That's it, sir. So it's a nice uh, we having here Thank the you. same place where you have been a student. Now you visited the place as an officer trainee, IAS. So we are very happy to have you here. Thank so you, all the very best for your future. Thank May you. God bless you. Thank you, sir.